On this edition of Diecast Emporium, we're going to be taking a look at another transport series by Diecast Masters model set. This is the Freightliner New Cascadia with 40 foot dry goods seat container. The item number is 71048. Here is the top of the box. As it is a Freightliner, it does have the blue background. On the back of the excellent packaging, you can see the other trailer and tractor combos in the transport series range, as well as a picture of the tractor and the trailer with some functionality and some details about the new Cascadia. Interestingly enough, on this Cascadia, it says that it has a Detroit DD-13 engine. However, on the other Cascadias that we looked at, the back of those said that they had a Cummins engine inside of those. So that's very interesting. Inside of the packaging, there is one other piece, and that is a trailer hitch that is provided for the Cascadia truck, should you want to put that on it. In addition, you also get the Diecast Masters 2019 Transport Series catalog. And in here, if you haven't seen one of these, again, very, very useful to have. It shows you their entire product range, including, drum roll please, a couple new additions to their lineup, which will be coming very shortly in Q1 of 2020. So with that out of the way, let us look at the truck, trailer, and container. So you've seen many of these before, but if you are new, we will briefly go over each individual component of the set. The first is the 40-foot dry goods sea container in the colors of Mersk or Maersk. On the back, the doors do open and they swing completely to the side should you want to load anything in the back of them. For some of the small details, you have some very good decal work on all of these containers, including the mass gross and your max cargo. On the side over here, you have... 2 comma 9 and 9 6 and super duty in the triangle. On this side again you have caution 9 6 high container. Now with all of these plastic containers by Diecast Masters, whether you buy the 40 foot containers or the 20 foot containers, they all have these holes in the top and the bottom. So just like the real thing, you can stack these together to make a pretty interesting and realistic display should you want to do that. But this is the container that's provided with this particular set. Onwards with the trailer review. This is another very good casting, in my opinion, by Diecast Masters. It allows for a lot of flexibility. This is a three-axle container trailer. This piece right here, you can move the kingpin to any of these four predetermined holes to fit other trucks that you may have. The landing legs are a plastic component, but they are strong enough to hold the trailer by itself. The decal work for the DOT striping is very good, and it stands out very well against the yellow paint, as do the lights on the back. The mud flaps are rubber, and they are somewhat flexible. Looking underneath, there's not too terribly much detail, but the tires do have a decent tread pattern on all six of them. So there is the trailer. Let us look at the Cascadia. So if you want the blue Cascadia, currently you can only get it with this set. This is not sold separately as of the timing and shooting of this video. All of these Cascadias, to be completely honest with you guys, are excellent castings. This is a great model. I see these being a hit with collectors. Starting off with the fifth wheel, you can angle it up, you can angle it back, and it slides forward and it slides all the way to the rear so that you can set it wherever you want to. Again, it has the plastic aerodynamic kit around the tires, along with the kit inside the wheels or the hubcaps. The rear of the truck up here, this little plastic piece, it's very difficult to pick up on camera, but there's a molded-in fan on the back. The rubber mud flaps have the Freightliner logo, and there's some nice decal work for the lights and DOT striping. Coming over to here, you have five mirrors on these Cascadia trucks, including a small black plastic one on the passenger side. Your doors do open. 
on both sides, as does your hood. There you go. The steering on this particular model, to be completely fair, is a little bit looser than it is on any of the other Cascadia trucks that I have. But you can still set it to either angle. But because it's loose, unfortunately, it won't hold that angle when you go to steer it. Underneath, again, there's a pretty decent um, attention to detail underneath with some components modeled. And again, if you're one of those individuals that enjoy taking these trucks apart and repainting them, this should be relatively easy to do because they are held together with Phillips screws. So repaints and modifications should be somewhat simple. And the coolest aspect of these Cascadia trucks is the ability to remove the top of the cab and sleeper and to get a really good look inside of the cab. So there you go, guys. In conclusion, this 1 to 50 scale transport series set by Diecast Masters featuring the new Freightliner Cascadia with the 40 foot dry goods Maersk C container is a really good set. It definitely will highlight any 1 to 50 scale uh, collector's collection. And this set is relatively inexpensive considering everything that you get in it. As always, guys, if you have any further questions or comments, please leave them down below. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Be safe and take care.